So basically, I, I, I call myself Piata Felia, fifth wave. We, everybody knows about the four waves uh, of immigration. The fifth wave is when you were born and raised in the Haramada here, and you leave for whatever reason, or uh, career, life, marriage, whatever, and then over a period of time, you find your roots and you come back. So I had a 30-year holiday from, from the Ukrainian community. So when I came back, I'm full of vim and vigor and ideas. I can't remember why I left. All I know is that I'm back and it's given me a sense of purpose. And when I met my wife, that just cemented it. So when did you come back? 2007. Into the community. Uh, when I came back to Oshawa, uh, I went for a meeting and, uh, and, uh, for, uh, at the hall. And uh, the old guys decided that they wanted to sell the place because then Ashitita, that was the theme. And uh, I said, no, we're not selling. And they go, well, who the hell are you? And I go, I'm Staff Coast of Feature. And everybody said, we thought you were dead. We haven't heard from you for 30 years. And I said, well, give me a month. I physically uh, called, as a headhunter, called up all the people who I grew up with and said, we're having a meeting, pay your dues. We're taking over the hall administration and we're going to keep the place running. So I, I actually literally moved back from Toronto to Oshawa which did not do my career any good, but we kept the hall going for eight more years. So what do you find helpful about the community? Or enjoyable or? Well, first of all, everything about the culture is totally enjoyable. Um, I'm a history nut and a political, politically inquisitive person. So I'm actively involved in the organizations. Um, the whole of the mod was a passion project of mine that I've been involved with since 2008 with Ukrainica. Um, I'm now involved with a, with a new book that they're just publishing, so I'll be doing distribution for that. Um, I'm the head of the Dnipro Oshawa Fund. When we sold our, our, our Domyovka, we put the money in trust uh, at the BCU Foundation, and I, I'm the chair of a committee that we make donations to Ukrainian projects that we find uh, of value. So we donated to Camp Visaka, to Cuff Canada Ukraine Foundation on the medical missions. We sole sponsored um, the latest project for PTSD. Tell me how it was that your mother learned Ukrainian. Uh, Dido and Baba uh, both were alive when my, my parents were married. They spoke very, very little um, uh, English and uh, mom just totally immersed herself into the community. My mother was, acted as a teacher's aide in Sadochok, went through, went through Shkola, uh, and actually graduated her matura at Yuri Lipa uh, as, a, as a parent. She was the oldest student in her graduating class. Okay. My mother was known as Pani Ivanka. My mom's name was Janet. They, they, they either called her Pani Doktorova or Pani Ivanka. My mom was very active, actively involved with Zoom and all the activities. My mother was, uh, for a time, head of Janotche Liga out of Oshawa. My mom was also involved with uh, the National Council of Women and brought in the Ukrainian organizations into, in the 60s uh, 